Hey everybody, it's Abby with Cricut. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to learn how to pick fonts and images that will work well on a mug when you're using a Cricut mug press and infusible ink transfer sheets. There's a couple tricks we want to make sure everyone's aware of. So here I am on the home screen and I'm going to use one of our mug design setup projects to help me size and easily um, design my mug. There's two projects. The mug design setup project that you see here is designed for transfer sheets. So I'm going to go ahead and search for an image that I'll add to my cough, my mug, and I'd like it to be coffee themed. So you see some images here. This fourth one on the top row that has the blocky coffee image would work really well, but this one will run for coffee is a little bit too thin and scripty. You have to keep in mind that when you're use, making a mug, the image itself will actually be pretty small. So you want something that has a lot of room for design and not too much tiny detail. If you want something super detailed, using pens will work a bit better. I'm going to use this image. It's kind of like a little heart latte and add it to the side of my mug. And I think it'll work really well. And here's why. Most of the detail in here is relatively um, thick. And I know that it will weed fine once I cut it on my infusible ink transfer sheet. You'll see I've aligned it with the red mug on top of this template. You'll learn more about these templates um, in other infusible ink videos, but this one's focused on images and fonts. So now let's talk about fonts. Blocky fonts will work a bit better. For example, this Cricut Sans or even the Cricut Stretch will work really well on a mug. Cry Wolf is great. That next one, Cult STD, probably wouldn't work as well. This Martha Stewart font works really, really well. But when you get into things that are a bit more scripted or small details, that doesn't work quite as well with infusible ink sheets and you'll want to use um, pens. For example, this uh, dandelion font is really, really cute when you use infusible ink pens, but doesn't cut very well on sheets just because it's thin. Very similar to how it would cut on vinyl or iron-on. This diamond back is another one that you would probably want to use pens with instead of sheets. This Princess and the Frog font would work totally great on a, on a mug. And this one, Double Whipped, is actually my personal favorite for a mug. I find that it's scripty enough and cursive to be really cute, but not um, too, too detailed so that it still works on my sheet. So I've chosen Easton font, and I'll put it on the other side of my mug, and I'm going to want it to be opposite of that latte heart image that I added earlier. Looks like I have a space here, so I'll take that out to make sure my alignment is good. And once you've chosen your images and your fonts, you'll resize, you'll align on the Mug Design Setup project using the red guides. Once you're done with lining it up, you can hide that layer. It's just meant as a guide for how to place things. You don't need to cut it. You'll select all and you'll attach, and then you're ready to cut, weed, and transfer your project onto your mug. Thanks for joining us.